All right, what's up everyone? Just wanted to give a quick little rundown on MPK ratio and how to calculate it because I was extremely confused for a long time. So let's jump into it. So basically every uh, nutrient supplement that you give or offer your plant uh, is basically gonna have an MPK ratio. It's the three little numbers um, and that is a guaranteed analysis percentage wise. So you wanna start with that number which is listed here for each of these products and then you're gonna multiply how much you put in times that ratio. So for example, five times four is 20. Any number times zero is zero. So we basically go through here. We know that adding CalMag extra or CalMag in any form is a good idea for any LED grower, indoor grower, but especially also on cocoa because yeah, the uh, medium tends to retain more magnesium, calcium um, than a typical inert medium. So. We basically want to be somewhere between 150 and 200 parts per million, excuse me, well, parts per million, I say that, it's uh, the TDS scale, so 500 scale, um, and coming from <clears throat> nearly 200 parts per million in our base water to 400 ensures that we're right at about 200 parts per million of the added sort of base CalMag that we like to see in cocoa. Um, Moving on to our next one, we have Sensi Grow for Cocoa Part A. It's a 300. We added two milliliters. Um, I like to, because these are both so high in nit nitrogen, excuse me, I could kind of already tell that um, if I did five per se of each, that I would end up with way too high of a nitrogen ratio. So I knew that since these are both only nitrogen bearing, if I add them together, two plus five is pretty close to six, right? So that was kind of how I my preliminary analysis of getting myself close to that. So anyways, you take the two times the three and you get a six zero zero, right? And then basically when you get these adjusted totals, you're just gonna tally them all and add them into a total. So next we have the part B, one, two, four times six, two, or excuse me, six, 12, 24. Um, you don't want to reduce these fractions yet. The only time you can do that is at the very end. Otherwise it'll mess up your entire um, ratios basically. And then that, after each one, I went ahead and just did a, a total dissolved solvent, solids, excuse me, uh, measurement to make sure that we were, you know, at least getting our base nudes up to a good level. Because if you don't put enough in, then it's really hard to go back and add more. It's much easier to dilute. But since I have some experience and I'm practiced at mixing up one gallon at a time, I'm confident with where we're at. So from this point, you want to go ahead and check what our goal is. Here's our goal for week two, two, three, three. So we have this number here, right? This is the total of 26 and six, 32, 0, 0, 12, 12, 0, 0, 24, 24, 32, 12, 24 is our new total. Now, that's nowhere close to our goal, right? Not even near. So what I wanna do is go back and kind of guesstimate how much we would have to add to this number to get us to a uh, two, two, three, or somewhere near there. Basically what I did is I added 20 to each one of these numbers and you get 32, 32, 44, which is pretty damn close. I decided I could add a little bit more potassium at that point, and that would probably get us pretty near our goal here of two, two, three. So with that in mind of kind of where I wanted to go, then I look into our boosters over here. We have liquid cool bloom, it's 0, 10, 10, and we have our turpinator, which I labeled incorrectly over here, is 0, 0, 4. So, as my kind of notes over here predicted, I wanted to add 20 of each, which makes it really easy because, you know, if I add 2 milliliters at 0, 10, 10, that gives me my 0, 20, 20. 0, 20, 20 plus our 32, 12, 24 gives us 32, 32, 44. From there, I just wanted to add a little bit more potassium to get us to a closer range, so I went ahead and added two milliliters of trepanator at 044, which was 008, as you see down here. Then I added that again to our total, and that gave us our final total of 32, 32, 54. This isn't perfect, it's not 223, but it's pretty damn close. Um, equal parts nitrogen phosphorus, equal parts nitrogen phosphorus, and then the ratio of the P to K is three fifths, which isn't two-thirds but it's it's pretty damn close so after all that was said and done i think i ended up with 685 for the total dissolved solvent level which is a little bit low once you subtract the base water i think that puts me closer to 500 parts per million when i want to be at 650 regardless um you know 
it's it's a science I'm still working out this is only my day two of feed so I can probably hone it in a little bit better um, but that's a general guideline outline I would say that you kind of want to um, follow to get your MPK ratios in the proper range and it also allows you to feed you know at a much more reasonable level a lot of these people feeding at 1000 and stuff it just it's not necessary if you can really dial in these ratios correctly and and really know what you're doing and what you're feeding your plant when you're feeding your plant to optimize and really uh, provide the most for it when it needs the most um, so yeah that's just the idea of this tutorial and i wanted to kind of give you guys a rundown and as i learn try to share some knowledge with you because as we all know the more you know the more you grow thanks guys we'll see you later